Fernando Pessoa and his spiritual statue, his spiritual search. Who was Fernando Pessoa? Was himself a seeker of truth? Was it a, a Mason, a Freemason? Was he a Gnostic? Was it a Knight Templar? Was he an occultist? A Rosicrucian? An astrologer? A spiritualist? Who was really this protaic figure of the 20th century? West crosses into the 21 with so much powerful impact on the culture. Well, we have to say that in these 47 years, Fernando Pessoa was a deep reader and a very strong mind and having time to develop his innate genius as he's beginning just from five years old, writing poetry and creating heteronyms or pseudonyms or small figures where he could put all his rich capacity as a Gemini sign to despersonalize himself in so many characters and bounds to different doctrines and opinions or against these or that. It was a time where he was some years in South Africa studying and when he returned to enter in the Portuguese university he was already a well-formed reader on the English and universal literature and also on spiritual matters, especially having read the book of Argrave Channing's their Rosi The Rosicrucians and Their Reads and Mysteries, very important book has impressed him very much as it is in fact a very good book on the perennial philosophy that is within the church religions, institutions and doctrines. Afnan Pessoa, when he arrived to Portugal, he studied mostly philosophy and literature, but soon he began to enter more on the search on the spiritual aspects of life through maybe influences of his sensibility, also his uncle who was a spiritist and maybe even his brother of his godfather, General Enrico Rosa, who was also interested, although an atheist, in spiritual matters. Often Pessoa has to translate some books of theosophy, six books he translates, as he was a good knower of English and we don't know exactly how this has come to himself. Was it through some, uh, for example, the English bookshop that was existing in Rua Acernal uh, near Terreiro do Passo, where Fernando Pessoa went many times and was making his comments, his demands of books of occultism from England and he had read and will be asking and buying and reading until the last year of his life always in the search of the symbols and the mysteries and this deep cast of the spirit and of the divine. Now, so what maybe has translated these books because he was known, maybe because on this library someone as told or maybe true theosophical circle where you know Kamenevsky and his wife and there was Dr. João Antunes who was taking responsibility of that uh, collection in the bookshop and editors Ahem Teixeira and so Pessoa has the contact with Blavatsky, Liebbitter and Bezan and it is much impressive how they have there so much knowledge but at the same time their feminism and almost too much fraternitarian 
tradition and vulgarization of the old mysteries that were kept secret in the Rosicrucian tradition. It was not to be approved by himself. So at that time he had created an astrological person, or astronomer, Raphael Baldaya, and this man writes or proclaims in two pages that he has gone not far away from that, behind some texts also on astrology, call it the principles of esoteric and metaphysic, where he is supposed to be beginning a book that is appointed to himself by the higher masters and providence divine to make a other vision about the, the, the true knowledge on the spiritual side of life that would not be to be given just by the theosophy, but the Portugal and someone from that tradition should also give it. We know that this book has not gone far away from that intention in two pages, just in ones, but in many other pages that Fernando Pessoa has left, most of them, almost all of them, and published at this time on spiritual subjects, are containing quite a lot of this investigation on the initiation in the intuition, in the division of the universe in different levels of planes of consciousness of being, on the secret traditions of Freemasons, of the old mysteries, of the Rosicrucians, and he has even began to write about the spiritual Portuguese order or to, in a certain way, to reawaken the Portuguese Templar order or the Christ order of Portugal, for which he has written some texts and some conditions of initiation and all that. Anyway, any of these things was published and some of them have been published by myself and by others, but in, as a matter of fact, the true amount and the true understanding of all, th all these texts and of the true lines of forces that are contained there have not been understood, neither explained for others. I'm just trying to give a glimpse on that. Even if it's true that in the message and the most famous Portuguese poem in our days, uh, written by himself on 34 to be published and to gain a small prize of literature in 35 some months before he died, contains in itself being a review of this Portuguese historical figures and moments and prophecies, contains a very deep knowledge of the spirituality of the Rosicrucians, of the Templars, of the astrology or the Portuguese Sebastianism or the Fifth Empire, this idea that as the English had the five, Fifth Monarchy, that Fernando Pessoa has known and have studied, and the Pessoa developed it on the line of Padre Antonio Vieira and uh, others, small prophets that were special at the time of Don John V uh, and Don John IV, uh, mostly priests, who have welcomed the king as uh, the runner of the Fifth Empire, where Portugal would give some kind of flight to the other nations. As we know, this poem, it finished in a, in a depressed mood. He is saying that no one knows what is the good nor well, neither the, the good neither the bad, and the, the time is almost a time of cloudy time and obscure, and at the same time, the Portuguese Prime Minister Salazar has decided that 
we have to follow the rule to say these things and not say other things. That was for himself a free thinker, a liberal, as he has always uh, a conservator liberal. He has always considered himself was really not good at all. So, in a certain way, his poem, he himself dies with this moment when there was also a suppression of the liberty of secret association that was mostly against the Freemasonry that was at that time closed and the Francois published an article against that that was very strong and then received some blows against him and in his papers uh, most of them not published they were he was really feeling indignant with that and knowledge and their and wise decisions. Anyway, his uh, texts and some of his poems that have been published are known, and some of these poems, like the poems of uh, in the tomb of Christian Rosenkreuz, or the poem of initiation, or other ones that I have published also in my book uh, of uh, po poesia, magic, and prophetic, and spiritual. <coughs> there is quite a lot of texts where Fernando Pessoa expresses his aspiration to find the most inner and deeper light and through which he passes into different plans or different tests and probations until he can reach that. He died a little bit alone, uh, not completely happy as he was drinking a bit, and prematurely he died with 47 years when he had so much to publish and to finish. So anyway, some of his books got a very strong worldwide recognition, especially the book of this quiet, that he himself called it uh, to be a kind of a, a sick production, a, a, a kind of with uh, depressive and not healthy publication where it puts much of the gloom, much of the of the grey life and even if there is also in very deep pages of self analysis and understanding and some very beautiful pages but it's not uh, a book that can be read uh, completely with open soul and to be influenced by them. As a matter of fact, Fred Psova had created so many possibilities of filling the universe and the others that uh, he was mostly an artist, a literary artist, and in many times he was trying to be behind good and evil. And so some of his pages uh, take this glue of the indifference or even of the luciferic uh, texts and traditions and tendency and we can see that in some pages still uh, anyway in his last times he was deeper on these gnostic sites and trying to make more is inner connection with the spirit and with divine and not so much dependent on other texts and studies yet done before, especially very much on grades of orders in Kabbalah, on symbols external and uh, participating in the this kind of uh, study, intellectual studies of the true initiation that is to be searched in the deep silence of his inner soul and not so much with uh, so much correspondence and intellectual work. In our days there is still so much text to be published, especially in English, there is some of them uh, we hope that uh, the best texts of Randopso on spiritual matters can be available soon to English reading people.
సంతోషం